a brand new flight is a reason for a party. But when it's also the first flight from a state without any airline service of its own, well, there's even more reason to celebrate. Hello, Jet Setters. Would you believe that Delaware is the only state in the country without passenger flights? Well, that changes today as low-cost carrier Avello launches flights from here in Wilmington all the way down to Orlando, and we're on board, so join us for this inaugural flight. Here's the plan. After a celebration and a few speeches, we'll board the plane for a two-hour, 16-minute flight covering 841 miles down to the House of the Mouse in Orlando, Florida. Up until now, the only way to get here in Wilmington, uh, Delaware, was by train. But Avello plans to change that by adding service to five cities in Florida from here in Wilmington. Now, that's great news for this really cool city. What a cool city! I just love this downtown. Delaware's status as the only state without passenger flights is relatively new. Wilmington's airport was served by Frontier Airlines until June 6, 2022 when they pulled out because of insufficient demand. You see, it's tough to make passenger service work here since the airport is only 24 miles away from Philadelphia's International Airport. But Avello is counting on Florida's warm weather to draw people from this region southward how cold it is here, I think flights to Florida are going to be a huge success. And when we arrived, it was clear the airport in Avello believes she's right. You gotta love a party, and uh, here at Wilmington, they know how to do it right. Hello, Avello. Let's go through, get checked in, and, uh, and get this flight started. Avello operates a fleet of 737-700s and 800s, one of which they'll base here. They've also hired around 50 people who'll call this region home. Now, Avello is a low-cost airline, and that means you'll pay extra for much of what's included on other airlines. We'll share the extras we paid for along the way, but for now, our base fare was $41.30 each. Back inside, the party was in full swing. Sprinkles, always sprinkles, having fun. They really brought out the Delaware dignitaries here today. Once they'd had their fun, we got to hear from the founder and CEO of Avello, Andrew Levy. Delaware Valley, please say hello to Avello. Today, uh, Wilmington is going to represent our 34th destination, and it's our fourth base that we have around the country. We are built around airports like this. We love airports like Wilmington. I mean, you can't beat getting in and out of here versus going to a large airport, and that is something that has worked and worked extremely well for us. We also heard from Delaware State Treasurer Colleen Davis. I want to encourage everyone to come and, and, and visit us and also visit Avello. This is a long-lasting relationship, and that is my hope that we double down on that commitment. And I can just say that myself and our administration at all levels will work hard as we continue to build this airline partnership that will make this venture a success. So thank you so much. It's pretty clear. Just about everyone in Delaware is pretty excited about this. There was even a ribbon cutting. One, two, three. and tons of giveaways. Little souvenir box, courtesy of the Airport Authority. Ready for Florida. Love some airport swag. Just like that, it was time to head through security. Now, you do get to bring one personal item for no additional cost, but because we were also traveling with our suitcases, we had to pay $45 to bring those. It would have been 40 if we'd paid when we bought our tickets, but we weren't exactly sure what our plans were going to be when we booked these tickets. So there was a $5 penalty for that. Boarding was in process just as we got through security, and because we paid $15 for priority boarding to make filming a bit easier, we were invited to jump to the front of the line. You ready for this? Let's go to Florida! Let's get warmed up. What do you say? <laughs> Boarding from the ramp is always a lot of fun. It's a little bit more difficult when the temperature's quite like this, but uh, I'll still take it. Now, we paid $35 each to select our seats. Unfortunately, somewhere along the line, our selections got lost, and somehow we ended up in, in regular seats, not the ones we booked with extra legroom. But we weren't the only ones that had this experience. It's a reminder to you to keep an eye on your seat selection if you choose to pay extra for that. This 737-700 has 143 seats and used to belong to Southwest. As a result, these seats are a bit more padded than the ones in the 737-800s the airline also operates. We were booked into seats 23A and B. Paying extra for priority boarding not only made it easier to film, 
but also made it easier to find space in the overhead bins for our carry-on bags. With all of the extras we chose plus taxes and fees, we paid a grand total of $153.50 each. Do you think we got our money's worth? Let us know in the comments below. If you saw our CRJ200 video, you may recognize this. It's time to measure the seats. The seats are 17 inches wide, and the pitch, that's the distance from a spot on one seat to the same spot on the seat behind it. That measurement is 27 inches. Suzanne, at five feet, three inches tall, had nearly five inches of knee room. At 5'11", I wasn't so lucky. Less than an inch. Wonder whether that seat will remain empty. There's still people getting on the plane, so uh, probably not, but uh, we'll see. And it didn't. In fact, this flight was pretty nearly full, which is a good sign for the airport and the airline. I want to thank you for joining us today. It's a special day. It is our very first flight from Wilmington to Florida, the first of many to come. Once we get going today, we're going to push back. We're going to de-ice a little bit. It should probably take us five or ten minutes. Two hours, 15 minutes en route at 40,000 feet. And because of that ice, we have to wait till Florida for our water cannon salute. The ground crew pulled the ramp back. The flight attendants gave their safety briefing. And soon, we said goodbye to Delaware and hello to the sky. Avello has a growing route network and is committed to operating out of less busy airports like Wilmington. For example, they don't fly out of LAX, but Burbank instead. And rather than New York's busy airports, they have a base in New Haven. Back on board, there's no in-flight entertainment, Wi-Fi, or even power sockets, which you probably wouldn't expect on a low-cost carrier, but be sure to come prepared. Flight attendants passed out bottles of water, which I'm sorry to say had a kind of chemical taste to it. That's the only service. There's not even food for sale on board. I really liked seeing the CEO up in the aisle engaging with passengers. The lavatory is about what you'd expect, and there are two on board. It does seem like they source their soap from an unusual place. United? In addition to this flight to Orlando, Avello has added service from Wilmington to Fort Lauderdale, Fort Myers, Tampa, and West Palm Beach. But would you take Avello? Well, one way to think about that is to consider the JEB score. But first, a couple of important notes. One, this is an inaugural flight, and everyone tends to be on their best behavior, especially when the CEO is on board. So take that for what it's worth. And second, this is a low-cost airline, which is why I always say this is an unscientific approach. Is the lounge relevant? Of course not, but I'll still include it because it might be a deal breaker for some travelers. In other words, I may use the same score to rate Singapore Suites as Spirit Airlines, but don't forget that this is through the lens of what the experience promises, and Avello promises low cost and no frills, so here goes. First, the lounge. Again, there is not one, and you really wouldn't expect anything more than sufficient seating in the gate area, which they offer, but no lounge means zero stars here. Second, the seat. It was certainly tight. I'm sorry we somehow got moved from the seats we'd originally booked with more legroom. However, they were certainly padded and nicer than the newer slimline seats on other airplanes. Four stars here. Third, the catering. Well, all you got was water and it didn't taste very good. One star here. Fourth, the in-flight entertainment. There was none. Not that you'd expect any on a low-cost carrier, but they don't even have plugs. Zero stars here. Finally, the service. Again, this was an inaugural flight and everyone is excited about it, but our cabin crew really was awesome. They were in the aisles constantly to collect trash and check on us. Five stars to them. Before we total that up, I'm so excited that Delaware has air service again. And I think Avello's plan to link this really cool city to Florida without the hassles that go along with a huge international hub airport is fantastic. And I hope we'll meet with much success. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you to Orlando. For the local time, is approximately 12.27. We're going to do what we know as a water cannon salute, okay? Uh, welcoming, welcoming all of us to Orlando on the inaugural flight. All in. Avello's 737 service from Wilmington, Delaware to Orlando, Florida earns 10 stars out of 25. But again, don't let that fool you. They're not promising frills, but instead are competing on price. So, if you want a seat from an easy-to-access airport to Florida, Avello may just be your best bet. How great was that? Between now and the next time, 
see in the sky. By the way, those were senior executives for Avello who were cleaning the plane, getting it re ready for its next flight. Pretty, uh, pretty impressive, if you ask me.